where to start. I, uh, I'm a, a bit overawed by it all and uh, I'm delighted to see everybody, to look around and see so many familiar faces. But uh, I, I just wanted to start by saying that um, when Nick contacted me about three years ago, he said to me, how would you feel about a statue in uh, Arthur Square? And I, thought, I said to him that uh, I'd be absolutely honoured to uh, have a statue in Arthur Square because I, I can remember vividly when Latrobe uh, had the uh, statue of Daryl Baldock that I thought what a wonderful tribute to such a great player, arguably the greatest player that ever came out of Tasmania. Uh, and I thought it was a, a fantastic tribute to him not thinking for one minute that I would ever have this happening uh, and I am truly, truly delighted. I I know lots of people have been thanked but I just want to do a couple of selfies. <laughs> <laughs> Timing's everything, isn't it? <laughs> Get his number plate. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. I'm coming with you when you go. Yeah, uh, and, and he's thrown me right off just off the top. <laughs> but um, look, I, I, I truly am delighted, and I, it's particularly I'm particularly pleased that it's been able to happen this weekend. We tried in July last year to, to have Paul, my son's 50th birthday, coincide with this event, and it's taken from July last year to now to get it to happen. But it has happened. Nick, we've made it. <laughs> Even the weather's not up for it. <laughs> um, we've, had, we've had a wonderful time down at Bruny Island. Uh, half the crowd is my family, by the way. So uh, <laughs> uh, we had a fantastic time down there. And then we all came up from there to here. And I got a bit towy yesterday because I was worrying about the ferry, uh, whether I, I'd miss out on being here on time. So. Uh, I snuck out of town, out of Bruni yesterday and got up here to make sure I was well and truly here. Right. The, um, I, just, I just wanted to, as I say, do a few selfish thank yous. I can't speak highly enough of the way Nick has handled this and Leon. Uh, they've done a wonderful job against great odds and uh, at times I wondered whether it was ever really going to happen. But uh, Nick, uh, sensational effort. So. Um, I, and I want to, and I want to do a little selfish thank you to the government and um, through you guys. I, I'll ask you to mention to Peter and, and Will. You know my my thank you, uh, my personal thank you. Uh, also to the Hawthorne Football Club, and I'm delighted that Jeff and Felicity are here. Now I have no notes because Jeff told me once at a function. <laughs> That you shouldn't have notes. Is that right, Jeff? Can't remember. And then, <laughs> but then I walk up here with no notes, and I look in yeah, his hand. He's got some notes. So, <laughs> but uh, no, fantastic to have notes. I want to make a special mention too, and he's been mentioned before. Mike Sheehan. Uh, Mike has come down to be here today, and uh, to me, he is the interviewer of all times. Yeah. And anyone that's seen Open Mike, which he did so well, would agree with that. And he and I sat down to do the thing for here, and we went on for about an hour and a half, and it was it was so enjoyable. But uh, Mike, it's great that you could find the time to come down. And I want, also want to thank my old mate. He's been my mate for a hundred years, Graham Sice. Oh, okay. Sice has looked after him, uh, and he's going to look after him till Tuesday. So I'm going to be anxious to find out if Mike actually gets back to Melbourne after, <laughs> after Sice has looked after him. And there's another little fella. Two little fellows. One's Marky Pierre Humbert, yeah. who's here, who was tied up with us at the Hawthorne, at the Hobart Football Club. Great mate, Marky. Yeah. And another guy who's only about an inch taller than Marky is Peter Ojo, a friend of mine. He's over here, and Peter and I have been together for a long, long time at Hobart Football Club, at St Kilda Football Club and we play golf together and uh, we've been mates for almost a hundred years so uh, uh, but look um, it, it is it's sensational to have my family here uh, not only Paul my son uh, and the, the 50th birthday but my daughter Perry she's here 
My sister-in-law is here, my sister and her husband are here. I could go on forever, they're all here. Uh, but uh, yeah, we, they, and they're all, they all took the time to come down and stay on for today so they could see this, this unveiling. So, um, and I, look, I just want to finish on one thing that uh, we lost uh, my mum and dad uh, not long ago. And they died within about six weeks of each other. And of the 93 years that they were on this earth, most of them were here in New Norfolk. Yep. And I'm sure, I'm positive, I've got the feeling that they're up there, they're looking down, and they are extremely proud. So. But once again, to wrap it up, thank you everyone. I, I, so many familiar faces. I hope we can chat. We're actually going back this afternoon to Melbourne, but I hope we've got time to, to chat because the chats I've had so far I've really enjoyed. So thank you all for coming and thank you once again, Nick and Leon, for making this happen. Uh, it, it's, it's one of the best days of my life, I can say that sincerely. So thank you. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.